Hi friends, welcome to DTK Food and Travels. Please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Today we're making a unique main dish. You can also use it as a side dish if you want. But we had it for lunch the day we made it. It's a fusion dish. It uses lentils and rice. So you want to go ahead and rinse and cook one cup of lentils with three cups of water and one teaspoon of salt. And you also want to go ahead and cook half a cup of basmati rice and three cups of water and half a teaspoon of salt. Go ahead and set both of that aside. And we have, um, we're using several spices in this. I'll have the spices listed in the description, but it's usually all spices that you'll have at home. Um, simple things, nothing fancy. So these are the spices we're using plus some salt. Um, so first thing we want to do is go ahead and heat a skillet with two tablespoons of olive oil. And once the oil is hot, we're going to add four large sliced onions. So what we're trying to do is we want to go ahead and caramelize the onions. So we're going to keep sauteing it and we're going to add some more ingredients to this in a few seconds. So you want to keep the flame on medium and continue to saute it until it's caramelized. So the next ingredient that we're going to add to this just to help this cook faster is one tablespoon of sugar and three fourth teaspoon of salt. If you're diabetic or just watching your calories, you can go ahead and go ahead and um, decrease the amount of sugar. So in the recipe, I actually only use two, two teaspoons. So you don't have to use a whole tablespoon. But if you don't have any problems with sugar, um, you can go ahead and use one tablespoon. So there it is, it's caramelized. So to this, we're gonna go ahead and add one cup of water. Let it come to a good boil. Just move that around in there you want. So the next ingredient that we're gonna go ahead and add is one tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. If you don't have balsamic vinegar, you can add apple cider vinegar. So we're gonna go ahead and let this boil and come together so the onions can absorb the flavor of the balsamic vinegar. So we're gonna be adding this to the rice and lentils after we um, add some more ingredients to the rice and lentils. So for now, we're gonna get another pan and just set this aside. And then to that same skillet, we're gonna go ahead and add one tablespoon of olive oil. And once the oil is heated, add two cloves of chopped garlic. And you wanna go ahead and saute the garlic to get the raw taste out. That'll just take a few seconds. Just make sure you move it around in there. So it's sauteed. Then we're gonna go ahead and add some curry leaves to it. You can add as much or as little or none of the curry leaves if you don't like it or don't have it available. Just the garlic is fine. So next we're gonna add all the ingredients um, that I showed you earlier, but I'll have the amount listed, like I said, in the description, but it's one teaspoon cashmere chili, one teaspoon coriander, half a teaspoon cumin powder, half a teaspoon cinnamon powder, half a teaspoon turmeric powder, one fourth teaspoon red pepper flakes, half a teaspoon salt, and one fourth teaspoon black pepper. And to this, you're gonna saute it to get the raw flavor of the spices out. And once you do that, go ahead and add the lentils and then the rice and mix it together really well. So um, you just want to get all the flavors of the spices in there. So you just want to make sure that you mix this, get it blended really well. So we'll just go ahead and do that. Then a few more ingredients, then we're done. So the next ingredient that we're going to go ahead and add is some chopped up basil and some spring onions. So if you don't have it, if you have cilantro on hand or parsley, that should be fine too. Or if you have dry basil, that should be fine also. I'm using about half a cup of fresh basil. So if you're using dry, just remember dried 
basil is going to be stronger so you, you have to use less you have to put it in and see how much of the basil flavor you want in there so we're going to go ahead and mix this up really good make sure it's well blended then the next ingredient that we're going to add is we're going to add half of that caramelized onion just set the other half aside because we're going to garnish uh, with this caramelized onion so you just want half of this and you want to go ahead and mix this up really good let me tell you guys this was my first time making this like i said this is a fusion dish and this dish is definitely going to be on our rotation for lunch or dinner this is so yummy this was so yummy you can use it as a main dish or like I said, if you're making chicken or fish, you can use this as a side dish. That was my plate for the day. To go with it, I just made a, some, yo I just took some yogurt and added some roasted garlic powder and salt to it. That was it. Oh, there's my husband taking one of our cats for a field trip around the yard. They're indoor cats, so they're not allowed to go outside. They can only be in the patio, so when they want to get on the grass, he just takes them, carries them. There you go, it's getting a close-up of Beanie. That's Mr. Bean over there. Isn't he cute? He has a sister, Peanut. But she was being a good girl and didn't want to go on a field trip, but he was demanding it, so... He got it. Please do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.